entire universe. Hey, Lance. Luke from Empire Universe Podcast. How are you today? Good. How's it going? Not too bad, man. Uh, so what is the most important thing for you in this upcoming fight coming off a loss? Just to have fun and enjoy enjoy the moment, uh, enjoy everything leading up to the fight. It's kind of been weird this season having uh, the quarantines and everything like that and then having, you know, having some issues during last camp coming into the fight where I was supposed to fight June 10th. Uh, which basically took me out of being able to fight on that card. But everything feels great physically, mentally. Um, coming coming in here and and being able to get right to the weight cut and get uh, into fight week feels like the old days where everything was kind of normal. So it's it's actually really nice. And and having this opponent is it's actually the most motivated I've felt this year. To be completely honest. Um, because I know Mobley is a guy that I respect as a fighter and as an opponent. And I know a little bit of his history of fighting because he's been with PFL since 2019. And uh, just coming off of the loss in April, it was just, I know that that wasn't me in there as far as mentally and, and physically. So I don't really take too much out of that fight. Um, Obviously, it's a loss on my record, but uh, coming into this one, it's just it's super motivating, and I'm excited about it. And the way that it it played out to be able to fight Mobley um, on this card is it's been awesome. So I'm I'm excited, and I'm glad that PFL was able to make it happen. Cool. Good luck. Thank you. Tariq, what's up, bro? It's Tariq from the Havoc Hour. What's going on, Lance? How's it going, man? I'm good, man. So basically, you and Mobley are fighting essentially for that last slot in the playoffs. But, uh, you know, a simple, I mean, a decision win would get you guys in. But, you know, with the way the judges have been going, you know, the last couple fights, do you have a little concern about if you get to a decision? I don't think a decision win would get me in. No. I'd have to have a first-round finish, yeah. Um, but regardless of that, I'm just excited for the fight. Obviously, to get a win would be huge for me. Um, just just as a great opponent and having a, a great fight and, uh, you know, going in and, and having fun in there and just enjoying, enjoying it, enjoy the fight, enjoy the process leading up to it. I haven't really enjoyed, like the last one, I didn't really enjoy any of the process leading into it. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of outside factors, but uh, for this one, I'm really excited about the fight with him and and just getting in there and getting back in the win column. As far as the, the playoffs and the points and all that stuff go, I'm not really worried about that. I just want to go out and get a win and be able to enjoy it. You know, if if I make the playoffs, great. If I don't, it's great too. I mean, they're you know, we'll figure out the future when that time comes. But um, I'm going to be able to enjoy this fight week and hopefully go out with a win and then uh, go on vacation with my family. Awesome, man. Also, um, we, we talked about, like, the quarantine, stuff like that, and, you know, having to miss the last fight. Has it been kind of frustrating to have all of this, you know, time off between, you know, having to be there 17 days to wait and then missing the last fight just to get it to this one this week? Um. I mean, I've made the most of my time, especially when I'm here. Like last time, even though I didn't fight, I was in here for pretty much the whole time, basically 11 days until before weigh-ins. And then um, and then I head out and made sure that everything was good on physical end of it. And uh, I trained every day that I was in here and made the most of it. And Juan Archuleta was here with me for the 12-day one. Um, so I made the most out of it. Uh, I didn't really make it a waiting thing, but, uh, mentally it definitely messes with you. It's, uh, it's a long process to sit in here and, and try to act like things are normal when the people in the regular casino are just going about their day and New Jersey is completely open and stuff like that. Um, so it, it is definitely different, uh, now coming in and, being here for fight week and obviously, you know, it's, 
it's different when you quarantine until you've done it you don't really understand it i guess awesome man well good luck this week thank you i appreciate it Breeze. speaking of breeze it's freezing in here <laughs> Oh, hey, this is Breeze with the MMA Breeze. Um, I, sorry about the delay. I just wanted to ask, you know, you said you had one uh, in the last uh, bubble with you. Who, who do you have this go around, if anybody, and how are you staying ready for your, for your fight? Um, yeah, Juan is on his way back. Um, we were supposed to be here yesterday, but some flights and things got backed up. So he'll be here today and uh, through the rest of this fight week. So, um Super fortunate to have him with me the last time and this time, and uh, it'll be good. He'll, he'll be here for the basically like the last brunt of the weight cut with me, and all the hard training's done. I mean, I I definitely, even though the fight didn't happen last time, physically I was fine. I just had to get checked out and make sure things were good um, from being on some antibiotics and things like that. So um, without getting in too much detail, I felt great, and I was – wanting to fight anyway but um they wanted it you know obviously the fighter safety and health comes first so i'm um, excited they were able to reschedule me for this card and and everything's good to go and i have an opponent that i'm actually excited to fight so this is awesome awesome we're looking forward to it good luck thank you hey there lance appreciate you making some time thank you I was just curious because I'd noticed that post on your Instagram about a week ago about the little Sour Patch Kid of yours turning four months old. So I wanted to wish a belated happy birthday there to Maya Rose. <laughs> Thank you. And just as an extension of that with like Father's Day just recently happening, you had the post about just how proud you are. Like how much does that dynamic just even further galvanize your champion resolve heading into fights? It's been cool. I don't think it gives me... Um, I'm pretty motivated, self-motivated, I guess you could say, but it just gives me a different reason to be excited for fights and be motivated to, to go out and perform. Um, I don't know. I, I hear a lot of other people who are dads who, you know, with daughters or sons who say that that's their main motivation and that that's like the sole thing that keeps them going. But for for this whole situation of the quarantines and the, the fight camp right after she was born, I didn't really have that time at home with her early on in her life. So, I mean, even up till now, really, I mean, I go home on weekends during fight camp and I was able to be home last weekend for father's day. But I think the, the motivation for me is more just that I'm excited to excited to go home and be with her and, and kind of work you know, work into our relationship. She's just now getting to the point where she's um, very active and she can see, like, obviously on FaceTime, we're able to FaceTime a lot and she knows who I am and knows my voice, knows my face. And it's, one, it's crazy that, a, a, I mean, even at three months, she was able to recognize me on FaceTime. It's like thinking of that in the 80s when I was a baby is insane to for somebody to be that young and be able to recognize a face and a voice through a phone or iPad or computer is just crazy technology. But luckily we're able to do that. So I'm at least able to get, um, you know, time with her through that until I'm done with this fight. Yeah. Well, hopefully that can come real soon for you, man. And you can enjoy the family time. Thanks for the insights. Thank you. Kelsey. Hi Lance. My name is Kelsey McCarson. I write for heavy. Um, I wanted to ask you, as far as I know, and what I've seen, when the PFL signs people, they sign to three-year contracts. You're the two-time champion, and one of the most popular faces, I would say, in the PFL. And so I was wondering, is this the last year of your current contract? And if it is, um, do you feel like you're going to continue with PFL, or, or are you thinking about your future? What is your future going to be like? Um, I don't know. I Obviously, I make plans and I try to be as proactive as possible with with things I can control. Um, I believe this is the the end of my contract as far as the seasons go. 
um, because the champion clause basically just extends it for the following year, which mm-hmm. would have been last year technically. Okay. Um, but it's this season being the third season. So um, basically going off of the contract after my 2019 season. So this is the last, I believe, um, season on my contract. And um, I don't know. We'll see. They brought in a lot of a lot of people from other organizations recently. Um, so I guess it just depends, you know, where where their funds are and what they plan to do, uh, whether they decide to keep me here or if I go look elsewhere. I really don't know. But, um, I mean, I guess that's something that I'll have to start looking into right after this fight and um, figure it out. But in the, the near future, is just focusing on this fight and, and this opponent. And then, um, obviously, whatever the outcome ends up being, whether there's a playoff for me or not, then I'll start um, start diving into the old contract negotiations. Just to follow up to that, um, sometime last year, I think in a story in MMA fighting, you expressed that you felt like the relationship was beyond repair between you and the PFL. Has it been repaired? Um, I don't think it's been repaired, to be honest. I don't think there was really an effort to repair it either. So I don't think that's... Uh, I mean, it's not something I've dwelled on, to be honest, but that's something that'll definitely come up if we do go into a negotiation to either extend or do a new contract. Okay, best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Alex, Cage Side Press. Hey, Lance, this is Alex from Cage Side Press. Um, so you really haven't had to deal with um, – with opponent changes throughout your career, um, you, you've had a few in the last few weeks. Um, has that affected you at, at all? It's been weird. Uh, 2019, actually, the guy I was supposed to fight in the quarterfinals of uh, the playoffs, he didn't make weight, so I ended up fighting Almeida for a third time. And then when uh, Pineda popped for whatever it was after the semifinals of that same playoff, I ended up fighting Gilpin again. So um, I've had to deal with, I mean, those are familiar faces, but they were opponent changes nonetheless. So I've kind of had to deal with it a decent amount in PFL, but um, this year, definitely more than the rest. I mean, I was supposed to fight Lazar first on that June 10th card, and then it ended up being Stern and then we got pulled from that card and Stern fought someone else, uh, actually Movlid's opponent. And then, uh, and now I'm fighting Movlid, but, uh, I'm excited about this fight. Honestly, if you look at all three of those opponents that I was supposed to fight, this is the most exciting and motivating for me. Um, it's to be honest, it's hard to fight somebody who one, nobody really knows, or two, doesn't really get you motivated to go fight. It's like, yeah, it's somebody you should beat or it's somebody you should finish or this or that. But um, fighting somebody who's tough and somebody who gets you up in the morning to be motivated to go out and fight and improve your career based off of a fight against them, it's, that's what excites me. And, you know, he's – this opponent is that guy for now. And obviously the fights that motivate me are people who excite me and people who make me nervous to get in there and fight and people that have a, a real danger of beating me. And that's what motivates me. So this is uh, this is a fight that actually gets me excited to go in there and fight. And I think that's something that I need right now. Awesome. Thank you. And, and good luck, Lance. Thank you.